Hey guys! So a question I get pretty frequently is what books I would recommend to people who are interested in graphic design or want to learn more about typography. And so I thought I'd give a little tour of my design library, hence the bookshelf in the background. Quick disclaimer, nobody who had anything to do with any of these books paid me or gave me anything to recommend them to you, I just think they're awesome. And of course all the links to buy them on Amazon are below. Okay, let's get started. This is the first book on typography that I ever read, probably like seven or eight years ago now. It's Thinking with Type by Ellen Lupton. There's actually a second edition out right now which has like an orangey cover, I think. I haven't actually read that one, but if it's anything like the first edition, it's really awesome. It gives a really nice overview of the history of type, as well as the anatomy of type, and a lot of really good inspiration. A Type Primer was the recommended textbook for my typography classes at RISD. John Kane, who wrote it, is actually a teacher at RISD. But if you're new to typography, this just gives a really easy to understand explanation of all of the basics you need to know. The Elements of Typographic Style is a must-have for any design library. There's just so much detailed information that you're not really going to find anywhere online yet. This book, Just My Type, just came out. I haven't actually read it yet because it literally came out about a week ago, but flipping through it, it looks fantastic. And the inside cover is the periodic table of typefaces, and it's gotten really amazing reviews. I'm really excited to read it, and I'm sure I'll be posting on Twitter my thoughts once I've actually read it. This documentary called Typeface is about a letterpress museum place out in like Wisconsin. I was actually sent the actual documentary after I featured their trailer on the front page of YouTube when I curated the front page with typography videos. I don't know if you guys remember that. But I watched it and it was so good. If you're interested in letterpress, go buy this movie or find a screening near you. So those were my favorite books about typography. Now I'm going to share some books that I like to get inspiration from. I picked this book up at Strand about a year ago, New Illustration with Type, and it has this funny robot guy on the cover. And there is seriously so much typography inspiration to be found in this book. Like I haven't even read the whole thing because I don't want to saturate my brain with all the amazing work that's in this book. 100 Habits of Successful Freelance Designers is basically exactly what the title says. It's really nicely laid out and again there's a lot of really nice inspiration as well as tips and suggestions by people who have been successful freelance graphic designers as the title says. This book is just so interestingly laid out and I love like the design. It's called Never Sleep. It was written by these two guys who have a design firm called Dress Code. And it's basically the story of them graduating and then starting their own design practice. And as I said, the layouts are really interesting and their work is amazing. It's just such a nice book to hold in your hands. I've definitely recommended this book a lot, but if you want the history of graphic design, this is a really great book just to start you off with. There are a ton of photos, not an overwhelming amount of text, although it's still really informational. It goes from about 1890 to about 1980, and it covers countries from all over the world. It's not just like United States or just Switzerland or anything like that. This book is probably not something you had expected me to necessarily recommend. It's actually a novel. It's written by Chip Kidd, who is a really great graphic designer. It was recommended to me by John Green, and it is fantastic. If you are an art student or or you want to be a graphic designer, or you are a graphic designer, you need to read this book. Okay, so those were all books that you can buy online or at a bookstore, but a really important part of my design library is the stuff that I've just collected or have been given to me or like really old books that you can't get anymore. Like at my internship last summer they had a whole bunch of these AIGA A Year in Design books that they just had extra copies of so I just got to keep them and they're really great. The Year in Design books, they're not impossible to find but they're not just on every bookshelf so if you can get your hands on these definitely do it. And then going back even older than a few years ago, my dad gave me this the language of advertising book. Obviously they didn't have computers when this book was made, so it's so interesting to just read through it and see all the amazing things they still knew, like all the fundamentals of graphic design that you don't get just by clicking around in Photoshop. This book I picked up at the RISD Library annual book sale. There are so many amazing examples of art deco graphic design that you're just not really gonna find on the internet, at least not so many collected into one place. So if you hear of an art school or a museum or something having a book sale, I think I got this for like two dollars, so definitely go because you're gonna find amazing things. And then this is one of my favorite things that I own in the world. This was also given to me by my dad. I think it belonged to my grandfather 
before him. I don't know where he got it from, but now I own it and it is a Linotype typeface catalog. I don't even want to like open it holding it up because it's so it's kind of falling apart and it's so big but it's just page after page of typefaces all different sizes and all of the characters that you could buy for your linotype machine these might show up on ebay sometimes you might be able to find them and like i know the RISD library had one but if you're interested in typography this is something that is just amazing. And then of course there are the magazines. I've collected a pretty big collection of just random design magazines. I think I got all of these in a free stuff pile when everyone was moving out of the dorms at RISD. So I guess the lesson I'm trying to share is be on the lookout, look for good design, collect design books, make a design library because it's going to help you so much when you're doing design. That sentence did not end very well. So again, links are below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there are any other videos you want me to make. And I hope that was useful. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>